Well, should I just ask you, how do you stop Crosby? You know, I won't put it that way. Uh, but, you know, you know he's coming. Try, yeah, you, yeah, you got to try. But, uh, you know, you played with and against him. Uh, just his skill set and probably you both appreciate him but want to want to get out there and challenge yourself against him. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's awesome to see he's still uh, playing at the level he is. And, been around the league a long time and he's still putting up uh, great numbers still a elite player so um, says a lot about him and as a guy too he was a he was an awesome guy I was going into Pittsburgh as a, a new guy and uh, he kind of took me in right away invited me over and uh, yeah so I can't say enough good things about him off the ice too. So you know when you talk about these generational or the elite players if you want to compare some of them like would you say Crosby and Connor are both productive, but do they do it a little differently in your mind, or, or how, what do you see there? Uh, there's actually a lot of similarities. I mean, they're both uh, just so dominant, and they can take over a game at any point. Um, they both work extremely hard in the off seasons, and uh, it shows. I mean, they're both uh, strong, strong players, and they will be for as long as they're playing. So, uh, yeah, I think they're both uh, very similar in that sense. One of the things you hear about Sid is kind of how much time he puts in even after games. He's one of the last ones to leave. Did you witness that when you look at what he's able to do at his age? Does that just kind of make sense the way that fits? Yeah, for sure. I mean, they uh, they would stay on after practice. He'd bring his whole line in front of the net, and they'd all be tipping pucks and just banging them, banging them in after, and the whole decor would be up at the blue line just shooting them. So, uh, I mean, it shows that's why they're, uh, they're all their hand-eye coordination is so good. They get a lot of tip goals, and they're good around the net. So uh, they've been working on that for, for a long time, I think. When he's on the attack, what do you need to be careful of when he has the puck and he's coming at you? Uh, you just try and take away his time and space. He's such a smart player. He finds the open guys and uh, ends up uh, getting getting to the net too. He's just so strong down low. So you just got to try and keep him away from the net and try and take away his time. It seemed like the, kind of the strong, silent types uh, as leaders. Now, Connor's ten years young. It's a bit hard to compare, but kind of see that uh, what they kind of lead. They don't always have to say things; just to kind of do things, and people will follow. Yeah, definitely. Uh, they're both uh, kind of lead lead by example guys. Uh, they're quieter, but they don't have to say much. I mean, they've uh, they've proven it year after year, and uh, a lot of guys just want to just want to be like them and show up and play like them.